Well, hey folks, Captain Dave here, and I just wanted to share something with you and show you how to be prepared. I had this, that right there, which is a self-tapping sheet metal screw, in here, right in here, just the other day when I pulled out of the water, when I put the boat on the, boat, uh, on the trailer. And because of how I'm prepped, it wasn't a big deal. And I needed new tires anyhow. So these are all brand new trailer tires on the Jetty Wolf's trailer. I'm going to show you something in case this happens to you. I want to go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I want to go fishing Try and cast my blues away I want to go fishing I don't want to watch the clock I want to go fishing I don't ever want to stop The best thing I can share with you when it comes to trailer tires is number one don't let them get like I do. I run them down to the uh, biaxial threads hanging out because I'm just sometimes too busy and uh, in all reality, I don't like to spend the money. But one thing you can spend money on, so in the event that something really happens and uh, you're at the boat ramp or you're on the side of the road, let me tell you, it sure does make it easy and the first thing that I have in this nice case right here is a Vi Air it's V-I-A-I-R your vital air source this is a Vi Air compressor that little puppy right there will really do some serious pumping up of your uh, trailer tire. This isn't one of these little cheapy ones you, can't, you get at Walmart. This runs about $130 or $40 on Amazon. You got 8 foot cable. Connect your air onto here. Um, this, is, this isn't a lightweight little junky unit. This will pump up a you know 35 inch tire in you know three or four minutes. All right, so the Vi Air comes in all different kinds of um, I don't know what would you call it uh, you know strengths I guess you can say. This is sort of a middle of the road, good for trailer tires, good for my truck. Uh, you can get bigger ones have more capacity you know if you got big giant off-road tires or something like that um, it comes with extra little filters and the reason I ended up getting this one is because of the way the hose is you snap your hose real easily right in there with a quick connect I got enough uh, hose that I can put this up on the battery in the boat with these uh, alligator clips and an eight foot cord. You got a built in air gauge and the nice thing about it is you snap this onto the tire so you don't have to be sitting there holding it and you can look at the gauge while it's pumping up. There's something that you need to have. An air compressor, when you're out towing your boat, makes life so easy. Then I got my, um, just a kit here. I got some pliers, tape, um, here's a plug, a plug kit. I got extra uh, Schrader valves, extra Schrader valves. Couple sets of pliers, more vulcanized plugs. If you're out on the road and 
let's say your spare isn't all that fantastic or you know you you something's happened and you you've got to plug a tire out on the road well there you go you can plug a tire if it's a big old screw like i had and then of course you got your your reamer and your your plug pusher i don't know what these are actually referred to then um, i even carry an extra valve and then of course don't forget when you're using the plug kit you really need to have some of the uh rubber cement kind of lubes it and makes that plug makes these go sticky right in into the tire so that's a good thing to have another thing that i carry is a whole gallon of slime tire sealant sometimes on my like aluminum rims tires don't always want to seat up against the uh, aluminum on the bead so you hit a big bump or something and, uh, and all of a sudden it's just not seating right or let's say you, you got a slow leaker while you're out on the road well pump some of this in there I think for like a trailer tire you got uh, basically 16 ounces will take care of a 14 inch trailer tire you take the Schrader valve out you got your little remover here you pump 16 ounces in there put your Schrader valve back in inflate the tire with your compressor and roll it home and that is gonna fill in all your um, any little hole maybe you have just a little tiny pinhole in your tire Another thing to good good to have is I got just some homemade chalks here that I just made with a, a block of wood and a chainsaw. You got to think safety while you're out there. You don't know where you're going to be. You don't know if you're going to be on an incline or what when you're going to have to stop. So chalk your tires, trailer tires. Of course you're going to need, don't forget, you're going to need one of these. You don't necessarily want to dig the one out for your tow vehicle, do you? So have one handy. That right there is what fits on my trailer tires. That end. I don't care about any other end. That's the end that I'm going to be working with. All right. Last but not least, are you going to pull out a jack? I mean, I know not everybody has... Uh, you know tandem axles if you have tandem axles then the easiest thing to do is do the cowboy ramp which is driving one tire up on a ramp and it lifts your other tire but you gotta gotta be careful because even you gotta know how high your ramp needs to be because on leaf spring trailers many times that you've got so much play on leaf springs that the second tire doesn't come off the ground and I'm going to show you how this works this is just a simple $20 one off of Amazon called trailer aid let's say I got a flat on the back tire like I did the other day you jam this into the front the tire in front of it on the tandem axle trailer you drive up on this and it's going to lift up and it's going to pop the second tire off the ground but before then, of course, you're going to loosen your lug nuts, you're going to get it all prepared, and you're going to roll it up, and you're going to pop that tire off, pop on your spare, or fix the flat that you have. I'll show you what this does. Um, I personally know too many people, and I know one in particular, who has like a 50-mile ride from the boat ramp. Well, when you got a 50-mile ride one way the last thing you want when you're traveling down the highway is a single axle trailer single axle trailers in my opinion aren't good for anything except for a little tiny boat uh, a double axle trailer is going to save you so badly uh, you get a blowout with a single axle 
with a one tire and it blows. I don't know what's going to happen to your boat. If something's happening, you're going down the road and you start getting all, all wiggly or whatever. It's a disaster waiting to happen. So, also, a tandem axle trailer, you can always fix one of the tires really easy by using this ramp. Let me show you how you do it. All right, folks. This is the trailer aid. You do not have to buy one. You can make one of these at a succession of blocks of wood very, very easily. I used to have one, and I don't know what I did with it. I probably ended up using the wood for something else. This was a whopping 20 bucks on Amazon, like I said. So, what the hell? 20 bucks. You drive up on this. You pull this. Let's say if that tire's flat, like it was for me the other day, when I pulled out of the water, you drive up on this, and it automatically just lifts that tire right off the ground. Same thing. You take this, and you can back up if this tire right here has a hole in it or whatever blown and uh, it'll lift my trailer uh, is a what is this called again a rolls axle I've had this trailer for going on probably 12 maybe 13 years now and uh, it rides a little hard because what kind of suspension does it have non leaf spring it's total proprietary for this company uh, the axle is not torsion either. The axle floats sort of in a lever action up against a rubber stopper. So I don't have to worry about when I go up on here, this trailer tire falling down, be this, the, the back one or whatever, because it has uh, so much, you know, like a leaf spring, sometimes that falls down really low and uh, has lots of travel. This trailer really doesn't have much suspension travel whatsoever so um, my tires really take a beating on this on this trailer because many times just the tire itself is part of the cushioning so um, but it's a kind of a no-fail uh, suspension system and a no-fail trailer I would never own any other trailer probably besides the rolls axle to tell you the truth the best trailer I've ever owned and you're gonna pay for it pretty much back when I got it I have a stainless steel hub stainless steel studs stainless steel lock nuts the whole thing's all aluminum and just stainless steel so that's how the trailer aid works and you would just drive up and then this tire would pop up off the ground or vice versa you back up and it would lift this one up so that's how that works it's really good to be to be very um, set up for an emergency when you are trailering, especially for me. I mean, the way I look at it is I'm trailering my income, how I make my living. So um, here I got a spare right here with a brand new cover on it that seems to collect every bit of rainwater, and I'm thinking. Uh, about pushing putting something under there actually underneath there is a spare that has an inner tube in it actually so um, and then under here what I do is I keep up two like pads because you got to remember you're on the side of the road you're in a parking lot you're somewhere and you're dealing with a trailer tire well guess what you're gonna be doing folks you're gonna be kneeling down a lot and the other day when I was doing it, those pads came in mighty handy. Uh, too many times, you know, people probably pull out their spare and their spare doesn't have enough air in it or their spare has a hole in it or their spare has a leaky uh, valve core or their spare has a slow leak. All this stuff can be fixed right in the boat ramp parking lot. So this is just a little video about how to stay prepared out on the road with your boat. And um, it works for me because I have all this and I'm ready to go any moment. So that's it. If you're like me, 
you pull your boat out of the water and there's a giant self-tapping sheet metal screw in your tire. So by the time I put the boat on, on the uh, trailer and I pulled the trailer out of the water, the tire was already flat. But no big deal. I'm prepared. I had a change of 15 minutes, put on the spare, boom, I'm on my way. Alrighty, folks, well, might be the uh, conclusion to the season coming up from some of you up there and up north, but around here it's 24-7, 365, so i got to be prepared. So, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, picked up a little info here. I'll see you in the next video.